Hello everybody and welcome to another festive episode of da, 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 Draw With Rob. There we are, there's the Draw With Rob at Christmas activity book. If I turn, look, we've got all Christmassy pictures in it, including one of me and Ringo in our Christmassy hats. Now then, I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might know me because of this book. It's probably my best known book. It's called Odd Dog out it's all about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with the other sausage dogs and guess what we have a christmas version out as well it's called an odd dog christmas and this time our friend the odd dog is looking for a present for her best friend she can't find one but in the course of looking she discovers let me show you what she discovers father christmas who is a reindeer down on christmas eve and look what happens a bit of a spoiler here but look our friend, the odd dog, helps to pull the sleigh on Christmas Eve. And Father Christmas gives her lots of good ideas for presents for her friend. So that's a fun one. Uh, what else can I tell you about? These are my chapter books. The first two in the Peanut Jones trilogy. I've just finished writing book number three, actually, which I'm very excited about. If you're watching this at school, um, lots of classes are reading these books as their kind of class book and they're going down very well so maybe you guys might want to think about reading them. They're nice short chapters so you can do it in lots of little bursts and as you can see lots and lots of illustrations in these books. So I know lots of schools are enjoying reading them. If you're watching on your own maybe you should think about it. They're really fun stories trust me but we are here today to do a Christmassy drawing together. It's not long, is it, now till the big day? I am getting very, very excited. I don't know about you, and I love doing these Christmas drawings because they just make me feel even more festive. They're really good for cards, guys, really good for cards, or just to help decorate your house. That's what I find in the build-up to Christmas. I just can't get enough of it. Right, today I'm going to show you how to draw a little Christmas bauble character. Do you know what a bauble is? A bauble is one of those little decorations that you hang from the Christmas tree. You know, the little kind of glittery balls that you hang from the tree. They come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and I really love them. Part, a big part of Christmas for, for me is decorating the tree. We really like doing it. Me and my daughters and my wife, we all decorate it together, and it's really, really fun. And I think when the tree is up and the baubles are hung on it, that's when Christmas officially begins. So I thought we would do a little bauble character today. You know I like turning inanimate objects into characters. I'm always talking about that, aren't I? Um, but I really, really like doing it, and this is actually a really fun one to do today. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, obviously. You're gonna need a pen or a pencil to draw with, and I think you're gonna need something to color with if you have some colors later on. If you don't, just use your pencil to shade your drawing in. That's absolutely fine. Right, draw with Rob. This is how it works. We are going to do a drawing together that I am going to break down into bite-sized pieces because some people aren't very confident with just drawing from scratch, you see. So I like to break these drawings down. They look quite... If you just saw the drawing that we end up with, you might think it's too complicated and, and you couldn't do it, okay? But it's all about confidence. So what I do is break it down into simple shapes. Line here, shape there, little bits and pieces. And when you put them all together, you end up with a drawing you're very, very pleased with. Even if you don't consider yourself to be a particularly brilliant artist, you will end up with something you like, I promise. And you know what? There's no such thing as a bad drawing. Anyway, there's no rules with drawing. So just draw and have fun. That's the main thing about drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna draw something on my piece of paper here. Then I will stop or you can pause me and you're gonna draw what I draw. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. It's not meant to. You put a bit of your own character into your drawing. That's fine. Start me up again. I'll draw a bit more. Then you draw, then I draw, then you draw, then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we'll end up with a lovely little Christmas bauble character. Right, shall we start? The first thing I want you to do is, about two thirds of the way up your page, I want you to draw a horizontal line. Just three or four centimeters long, like so. I'm using a brush pen. Lots of people ask me what pens I use. This is a Kurataki brush pen. I think it's a Sumi model, this one. It's quite a nice one. It's quite a posh one, this, isn't it? Um, but I really like brush pens because um, if you press lightly, you can do a thin line. If you press harder, you can do a thick line. And you know, I'm always talking about, you know, when when something, when a line isn't even, um, I really like that. I particularly like it when I use a brush pen because 
um, you get really nice textures with a brush pen and there's a kind of an element of a random kind of mark making thing that's going on and I really really like that. Anyway, where were we? Yes, straight line. Once you've done your straight line, I want you to draw a little vertical line at each end, like that, just a centimeter or so long, something like that. Now then, we are going to join these, but I'm making mine slightly longer actually. We're going to join these up with a zigzag, okay? It's up to you how many zigzags you do. I think I'm going to do five zigzags, so five points. So I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go down. I'm going to go up, I'm going to go down, I'm going to go up, and then down, then up, and then down, like that. And you can see I've decided not to do mine totally evenly, they're a little bit higgledy-piggledy, because again, I think that just adds a bit of character to our drawing. And it looks like a kind of Christmas hat upside down, doesn't it? Which is kind of apt. I think lots of Christmas things are like that. When you draw little elements of them, they look like other Christmassy elements. There's lots of kind of spiky things in Christmas, actually, I think. The paper hat, a bit of holly, that sort of thing. So I think, you know, you get these shapes that are just Christmas shapes for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the bauble's body. Okay, this is just the top bit of our bauble, the bit that the hook attaches to, to our bauble. So to do the main part of our bauble, we're going to start by just coming down and curving around like that out of each side so you down you come down and you curve around like that now christmas baubles come in all sorts of shapes and sizes okay so i think you can do anything you like at this point if you want to draw a circle like that you can that's what most baubles look like i think um sometimes they're a bit wider sometimes they're those kind of you know like almost like a chili pepper shape do you know what i mean they sort of come down to a point at the bottom so you can do that i mean there's no reason why you can't draw more than one of these things actually um and in fact do you know what let's have a look inside the draw with rob christmas book because there's a page in here which i really like whereas i think it's near the beginning there we go a few pages actually where you get to uh, design your own baubles so can you see what i mean i've done lots of shapes I've left some blank in the book so that you guys can color them in and cut them out. But some are wider. There's that kind of teardrop shape. Look, there's even a candy cane there. Um, that one there, sort of like with lots of bumpy bits. So I think you can do anything you like with your Christmas bauble shape, okay? It's totally up to you. I am gonna go for, what should I do? I'm sort of gonna go, I think I'm gonna go along here. I'm gonna do like a wide one, like that, come down. Not really circular, it's going to have a sort of slightly flat top and bottom, I think, my Christmas bauble. Can you see what I mean about this brush pen? Isn't it lovely? See, look at that, I love that. Just a little bit there where the brush kind of separated slightly and you get these lovely little textures. I really, really love that. It just adds so much character to your drawing. So if you like a brush pen, maybe you could put one on your Christmas list. Father Christmas can bring you one. Sorry, mums and dads, they're not very expensive, by the way. But hey, there we go. Right, so there we go. That's the main body of our Christmas bauble. The next thing to do is our hook, our Christmassy bauble hook. Now then, I'm going to do mine. You know what I like doing. Remember how I do my name, swirly whirly bits. I'm always doing swirly whirly bits. That's how I do nostrils, isn't it? I remember I'm always going on about how I draw nostrils swirly whirly. I'm going to draw the hook a bit swirly whirly. So I'm going to come up from the middle that top part I'm gonna go off to the right it's gonna be a bit like a question mark it's gonna come around like that swirl them around just like that so a bit of a silly Christmassy hook really over elaborate and look it's happened again <gasps> that little kind of dry brush mark thing I really love it it's so nice I think I'd like it because it makes it look like the drawing has been done by hand and done with a brush I think if you were to program a computer to do this, this line would be perfectly even, exactly the same thickness all the way. And I just think that looks a bit kind of cold and without personality. So I really like it when you get these little brush marks in here. I just think it adds so much character to your drawing. So my Christmas bauble, that's pretty much, that's the basic shape of the bauble. The real fun bit, I think, with this drawing today is going to be the colouring in part. But first of all, I'm going to add, you remember I said I'm going to turn this into a bauble character. The way I do that, is the way I do most things here. Hang on, first of all, I'm use my thinner pen to make these bits nice and sharp. Sometimes you can do that if you have a thinner pen. 
or pencil, but maybe sharpen your pencil, you can just go in and you can make certain bits nice and sharp, where you can't do that when you're using a thicker pen, because it's too thick. So there, just with this, see what I mean? To make it nice and sharp. And it's just those little details sometimes that really add to your drawing. Right, to make this into a character, it's really easy. We're just gonna draw a circle here, like that. We're gonna do one over this side, like that. And we're going to put another circle that we colour in in the middle. And it really is that simple. <laughs> it almost looks like he's got a moustache with that kind of zigzaggy bit. That is what I'm going to do. Should we give him a mouth? Let's give, let's give this guy a little mouth as well. There we go. Little mouth. We'll give him a little sort of smiley mouth. Like that. That's our Christmas bauble character. It really is that simple. You just add a couple of eyes, a little mouth and to anything. And suddenly they're alive. Right, so that is the outline part of our drawing today. Really, really easy. Because we've made this top part like the head of our little character, that means this bit here is kind of the body. And can you see Clive here in my background, in my special Christmassy background? He's wearing a lovely Christmas jumper. I'm gonna think of my bauble as a character who is wearing a great big round Christmas jumper. So I'm gonna do a nice kind of Christmas jumper pattern on my bauble. But the really fun part is you guys can do whatever you like. The more patterny and colourful, I'd say, the better. You could just do loads of different coloured stars all over yours. Spots, stripes, um, you could draw lots of holly or Christmas puddings or Christmas presents. You can make it like a Christmas present with a big kind of cross in the middle and a bow, something like that. You could make do lots of Christmas trees on it, anything you like. You could even draw. You could even go to one of my other Draw With Rob videos, find the reindeer or something like that, and you could draw another Draw With Rob character on your bauble. That would be quite cool. Two Draw With Robs in one. I would love to see that. But as I said, I'm going to do a sort of Christmas jumpery type pattern on mine. So I think it'll look nice. So I'm going to go into super speed mode to do it. So I'll see you back here in about 20 seconds and we'll talk through what we've done. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. There we go, there is my finished Christmas bauble character. All coloured in. Do you see what I mean about the Christmas jumper? I kind of did one of those kind of generic -y Christmassy patterns with crosses and little bits and pieces that look sort of a bit like snowflakes, a few stars in between, dots either side. I just thought it was a fun thing to do. And then the, you'll see I've added a few bits. Well, first of all, I did a shade, I shaded this kind of top bit, the kind of the character's head in a sort of silvery colour and I've made it slightly darker over towards this side just to make it look round. And I've done that with the shading here as well. I added a bit of blue. If you add blue to red and sort of to that greeny colour, it kind of works for both in that it makes it look darker and it just adds a bit of shape and uh, kind of solidity to our drawing. Then I added lots of Christmas sparkle. You know how much I like sparkles. So lots of stars, kind of asterisks, crosses, dots, circles, that kind of thing. And I used the colours that I used in that middle bit of the pattern of my bauble. So those kind of turquoises, blues, pale blues, that kind of thing. And I just did them all different colours there just to make it a bit more kind of special and sparkly. And then I just thought right at the end, I thought actually I'm going to add a little Christmas tree branch to hang my bauble from. So I just used my big coloured pencils and I did a bit of a brown line and a couple of shades of green, just sort of angled like that, which is very, very easy, very simple but it immediately immediately you immediately know what's happening the, the the bauble is hanging from a christmas tree branch so it's kind of a short cut, cut for a christmas tree and it just made it look a little bit more festive i thought and sort of set the scene what do you think i'm pretty pleased with this one don't forget guys we need to sign our drawings i'm going to sign mine down here i'm doing the full signature today i'm really proud of this one there we go Rob. Bit of signed. Everyone knows who created that work of art now, so don't forget to do the same to you. Now, I really, really can't wait to see your bauble drawings because this is one that just 
is wide open for an amazing set of interpretations. Different colours, different patterns. Remember what I said about doing a draw with Rob drawing within a draw with Rob drawing. I hope some of you have done that. I can't wait to see them. So please do share them with me. Get somebody to take a picture of your drawing, post it on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag, which is shown here. On Facebook, you can just comment underneath this post with a picture of your drawing. That way I'll get to see them. Um, and I just can't wait to see them. I think this might be a nice grid, actually. We're gonna get lots of different kind of colored baubles on this grid and I think they'll look fab fabulous together. Just like when you're decorating a tree, you use all different colored baubles, don't you, to make your tree look fabulous. I think your drawings will all look fabulous together. So I can't wait to see them, so do send them to me. What else can I tell you about? Yes, subscribe to my channel uh, and turn on your notifications. There we go. That tells you how to do it on YouTube there. Subscribe to my newsletter too. Um, just go to my website and uh, click on the subscribe button. That way you'll get sent a little email whenever a new video comes out and when I'm touring and when there's new books. All my information basically, I'll put it in a, a newsletter to you. It's totally free, it doesn't cost you anything and I won't spam you, I promise. Um, and what else? I think that's it. I think that's everything. I haven't forgotten a single thing. I'm going to be back very soon with another festive episode of Draw with Rob. In the meantime, keep on drawing. Come up with your own drawings. You don't have to follow my videos. By now, you will have learnt different techniques, lots of different techniques. Whether you know it or not, if you've watched lots of my videos, you'll have picked up lots of different techniques which, which you can then use in your own work. So do try and draw your own characters. Send them to me too. I love seeing all of your drawings. So keep on drawing. Keep those pencils sharpened. Keep on reading too and enjoy the festivities. Seasons, greetings to all of you. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, just when you thought you got rid of me, here I am popping up again at the end of your video. I just wanted to very quickly tell you about this. It's the Draw with Rob at Christmas activity book. Lots of you have got the other activity book I know and there's more fun in this book here and it's all festive themed. So there's loads and loads of things for you to do. We've got an arty advent for you to start off with, where there's something for you to do every single day. We've got blank Father Christmas letter pages. We've got Christmas deck, you make your own Christmas decorations, make your own Christmas cards, lots of coloring, lots of draw alongs. Look, here we go, snowman draw along. Loads and loads and loads of things to do. Look, you can even make your own little box for Christmas gifts. And I have got you covered when it comes to thank you cards too. Look, here, I'm gonna get there. Oh, look, I forgot, nearly forgot to tell you this. It's one of my favorite bits. Christmas cracker jokes. You can cut all of these out roll them up and put them around the table at Christmas time and all your family and friends who are with you, they can each tell a joke and it's got little sh charades and it's got, even got like little kind of guess the sketch ideas for you to draw along with each other over Christmas dinner. So listen, I think you're gonna like this. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you cards, look mums and dads. Ready-made thank you card templates. No excuse not to write those thank you cards, is there? So listen, check it out. It's available wherever you get your books from. Online, in person, even better. If you can find it in a bookshop, even better. It's, how much does it cost? 6 99 not too expensive. Perfect stocking filler. Actually perfect, I would say, to give to somebody on the 1st of December so they can enjoy it all the way through the build up to Christmas. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'm gonna see you soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care, everyone.